What is happening guys? Welcome back to another FIFA 18 tips video, of course targeting pro clubs. Looking at cams this time, the position that I've been playing on the early access in FIFA 18. If you do go on to enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe. My stats on screen for you right there, 16 assists in 14 games. Of course, as a cam, you want to be going for those assists. 500 passes in just 14 games, so looking at 35 passes a game, you really need to be getting on the ball in cam. You've got to be dominating the game, and I'm going to go through some clips in a short while and show you just what I mean. Let's have a quick look at the build that I've been using for cam. Now, of course, limited experience on this game, and it is pre-patch. It might change, but this is what I've been rolling with. This is the player style screen, brand new to FIFA 18, in which I'm going to have a video out very shortly exploring how it all works and explaining it to you guys. But this is my cam build right now. You can't actually play in some of the positions that you used to be able to on FIFA 17. For example, right forward and left forward seem to have gone, as well as wing back and sweeper or stopper in the defensive position. So I've been rocking with the 5'9 cam setup, one that I really like, and the 178 pounds build. Let's go and look in the player traits. This is how I've been going. Stamina doesn't seem to be too important this time round, so I've gone with the strength trait, always important. Nothing on the defensive side. Dribbling, I have put a lot of skill points in so far. I think it's very important to try and get the dribbling high rated as you can if you are playing in cam, of course. That's what you're going to be doing is dribbling and passing. So agility and dribbling, very important. That's how I've allocated my skill points on the dribbling tab. Going over to passing, I've got quite a few, but not as many as you might expect as I obviously need to keep working my way up in order to afford them. And passing is pretty impressive as it is without these skill points. So I felt that I needed the dribbling improvements. A little bit of shooting as well because of course sometimes you need to take the shot if the strike is not available and score a couple of goals along the way. And a little bit in pace just to boost myself up. Let's go ahead guys and look at some clips now of what I've been talking about. Well played, Jonathan. So there I slip it into Private Herkins, one of the better strikers on the PS4 Pro Club scene. Many people would shoot there, but in the cam position, I prefer to cut back a pass and set up an easy finish for the striker. Again, they're just playing it in easy for him to finish that one. Just always having eyes for the striker, guys, is a real, real tip that I need you guys to be doing if you are playing in cam. Too many cams running with the ball, looking to shoot themselves. But my first thought is always to play in the striker when I'm playing in that cam position. If you find yourself a decent striker, it is always going to help. There again, I've just got eyes straight for him. He picks up the ball and outside of the foot, across the face of the goal, beautiful shot. I have got a striker tips video in the top right hand corner right now. If you want to go ahead and check that out, do so. So here you can see my actual positioning. I cut this clip back a little bit. I'm just staying right in the middle of that pitch if I'm playing that centre attacking mid position. Finding Herkins who buries that chance with ease. That's not even a big chance, but you can see I'm always looking for the man up front. That is kind of what you want to be doing in the cam slot. Again here, what a ball that is. That brings us on to a little point that I wanted to talk about. Over the top balls seem to have made a slight return. These little Owen triangles that didn't seem to work with the pacey centre-backs on FIFA 17 have been working a little bit for us on the early access. I'll show you what I mean. <gasps> oh my god! Top five. Are you going to say anything about the ball or is that just quiet time? I mean, it's all about the finish, really. So thank you for playing the ball. There you go. You see, no credit from the striker. Typical striker. These last clips, guys, are showing you a couple of goals I have scored where the pass just isn't on. And you do have to step up in the cam slot and score a couple of goals. But your main focus should be assists. Always look for the striker. Use easy X passes. And you're going to get a lot of assists and a lot of success on the pro club scene on FIFA 18. That is my opinion so far, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below if you've even got the game yet. And let me know what videos you want to see on this channel. Subscribe, guys, to the home of Pro Clubs. Thank you for watching. Drop a people's elbow on that like button if you've enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time.